Game Ranks presents another episode of Before You Buy, the show where we give you raw, uncut gameplay and some first impressions of the newest games releasing. My name is Jake Baldino, and I'm playing a weird game this week. Earth Defense Force 4.1, The Shadow of New Despair. Now, let me explain what this game is, okay? There's this long-running series of Japanese games called Earth Defense Force. The only one I really played was Earth Defense Force 2017. But Earth Defense Force 4.1, Shadow of New Despair is an enhanced PS4 port of EDF 2025. This was a PS3 game, and it was loved by many. Why? Well, look at it. EDF is a weird series. It's kind of like so bad it's good, and this one is definitely no exception. It's so simple. It's deceptively simple. You run around, you shoot bugs, you basically have infinite ammo, and you have a blast. The game is totally craptastic, awful voice acting, the visuals are not hot at all, and a lot of times things glitch out and enemy characters get stuck, and the AI opponents are completely useless. But that being said, it is just raw video game fun. I'm probably gonna overuse the word fun in this video, but that's what this game is. It's just a core distillation of what video games are, especially just ones where you just shoot stuff. You shoot, you kill things, things explode, buildings fall down, environments are destructible, you can hop in tanks, and you just kill, kill, kill. That's it. I know that sounds like it's totally boring and it'll get repetitive really quickly, and sometimes it does, but ultimately all the scenarios manage to stay kind of fresh, and I managed to play through all of it and enjoy it. Not only do you get to do all that cool ridiculous shit, but eventually kaijus and aliens show up, and then it turns into a big city battle game, where you hop in mechs and you fight bigger monsters and destroy buildings in your path. And it really doesn't get much better than that. It's cool. Like I said, like this goes against like my reviewer critic brain where there's just so many things kind of fundamentally wrong with this game, but it's just cool. It's just fun. I don't know. It's just, it appeals to the 12 year old in me, but all that variety and all those scenarios actually keep it fairly fresh through 89 single player missions. Yes. That sounds like a lot, but like I said, it does boil down to the same thing. You kill stuff and then you win, or you kill enough things for a timer to run out and then you win. You can also play split screen and multiplayer cooperative, and that'll keep you busy because there are some exclusive cooperative missions that are also very fun. This game is very fun with a friend because it's the perfect type of game. You and a friend run around and you shoot and blow things up. Well, those of you asking, Jake, what is the difference between this and EDF 2025 from PS3? Well, there's a couple things. First of all, now the cave levels are completely different. They're black, they used a better graphics, to actually kind of have a flashlight that you can illuminate the dark caves with. It makes those levels a little more interesting. AI can use vehicles and you have a lot more ways to order them around. And wing divers and fencers have new abilities. Now speaking of wing divers and fencers, in this game you get different classes that you can choose from. There's the standard soldier that's a ranger. He can run around and shoot stuff with a machine gun. There's the fencer that's like a power suit heavy mech that can wield multiple weapons. There's the air raider who can set traps and is better for calling in air support and airstrikes and stuff like that. He's more of a support character and he's better for multiplayer. And then there's the Wing Diver, arguably the most fun character to play as because they have a jetpack that you can fly around with. I love playing as the Ranger and the Diver because they're the most fun because either you're a guy on the ground running around shooting things, or you're a cool anime god lady flying around and shooting shit in the air. And the progression in this game is cool because the more stuff you kill, the more things they drop. Those things that you can pick up add to your armor rating, or you get new weapons and loot for every single mission. And overall, like I said, it does actually keep it surprisingly fresh for so many missions considering there's really only one single objective. It's just exciting and things get so intense when the screen gets cluttered with enemies, it's awesome. That being said, this game's main selling point, they really hyped up the fact that it's 1080p, 60 frames per second for PS4. That's total bullshit, because this game is more often not 60 frames per second. It chugs along every once in a while just because there's so many enemies on screen, and that's a little disappointing considering how simple the game is and how ugly it is. It should be running butter smooth at 60 FPS all the time but it's not. So like I always say, if that's the type of thing that bothers you, maybe you're gonna need to consider that. At the time of this video, this game hasn't even shown up on the PSN store yet. It takes a while to update, but I did buy it in the store and it cost me $50 here in the United States. That $10 discount really makes a difference because I feel like that's worth it, and I got a lot of fun out of this game. That being said, EDF is definitely not for everybody. Some of you probably immediately saw this video and got turned off, and then some of you probably saw this video and freaked out. So that being said, I did provide you guys with some of the basics here. I do want to know what you think about this game and the EDF series in general. Let's talk about it down in the comments. We can also talk about it if you have any questions about the game, ask me in the comments here, or ask me on Twitter, at Jake Baldino, or on Facebook or Instagram. I'm everywhere. If you did have a good time with this video and maybe you learned a new thing or two about a game, click the like button. That's the best way you can help me out and the way we can make more of these videos. And subscribing if you're new is a good idea because we put out videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.